It began with, in 1989, I came straight from primary school after eight years of, uh, uh, from the monolingual string. So I came straight to uh, Araja VI, located in Dover. Uh, back then, there was this certificate uh, called Basic Vocational Training 1. So I went into BBT1 in short, all right, for, for one year and followed by uh, another year of BBT2. So that was a uh, certification one level lower than NTC3. After two years of BBT1 and 2, Araja VI was closed down. Yeah, so because they, I think they have to tear it down to rebuild Dover, okay? So I was transferred to Pasipanjang VI to do my NTC3 in metal machining. So, uh, yep, for one year. So that's where I did quite well and uh, managed to uh, clinch the COM certificate of merit and progress to NTC2. And NTC2, because of the course that I uh, applied, wasn't offered in Paspanjang. It was uh, offered in Amokyo. That's where I went to Amokyo VI. So that was my third uh, VITV campus. So I did uh, quite well, but didn't uh, make it to uh, Polytechnic from the NTC2. So I went to NS to do my national service. Then after NS, I returned back to ITE to complete my higher NITEC. I was offered uh, direct entry second year when I reapplied uh, to back then called ITC, uh, Industrial Technician Certificate. Yeah. So equivalent to today's higher NITEC. Uh, certificate level. I completed my ITC uh, in 1995. Okay, uh, then I went straight to industry, worked as an uh, engineering assistant in one of the chemical company. So that's where I gained some engineering experience uh, before I returned back to uh, pursue my diploma. And that's where I was offered the thing soon scholarship to, to pursue my diploma in Singapore Polytechnic. After I completed my diploma, I actually applied a few universities, NTU, NUS, and, and overseas uni. uni. So uh, after being, after thought through, then I decided to pack my bag, go overseas. I uh, went to Australia, Brisbane, and it was when I went into the second year, then I applied to ITE for the scholarship. I was glad that, you know, I was offered the scholarship by ITE to complete uh, the last year of my overseas bachelor degree. It was my passion, and that's the reason why I applied the scholarship. Uh, the passion starts, started uh, when I was uh, when I was doing my diploma. In fact, uh, I wrote to HQ to, to ask them, you know, maybe I can be invited to one of your orientation, you know, talk to, to encourage the students because I, I know that uh, people like us who came from inferior, uh, you know, background, we, did, we didn't start well from our, our education. So we, we need that motivation and encouragement. So I volunteered. So I was invited to, to share my experience and my success uh, to a few campuses, Yishun, uh, Amokyo. Yeah. So that's where I, I got my passion in educating uh, the younger generation.